Lucifer was one of these angels. He was a dreamer with fantastical ideas for all of creation. Countless series retell religious stories with their own iterations of heaven, hell, and the creatures who live within them. Husband Hotel is the most recent of these successful series, with a gripping story about the princess of hell doing everything she can to reform sinners, saving their lives from an angelic extermination. The bulk of the story follows Charlie throughout modern versions of heaven and hell as she tries to bend the rules and challenge the status quo. The hotel she creates to redeem sinners has successfully changed the systems heaven put in place thousands of years ago, which makes her a public enemy to the influential angels in heaven. However, the series doesn't explain why these systems were in place and who the first people to challenge them were. With so many unanswered questions, we're using this video to explain why a spin-off about Lucifer, Lilith, Adam, and the beginning of humanity could work. As punishment for their reckless act, Heaven cast Lucifer and his love into the dark pit he had created. Vivian Medrano takes inspiration from numerous religions and related sources to create the worlds found in Hasbin Hotel and Hell of a Boss. The two series occur in the same realm but in different locations, ensuring the characters don't interact and retcon the individual stories. However, the creation of Hell remains the same throughout both, with the show taking inspiration from Christian theology and stories. According to the story read by Charlie and Overture, the story of how her parents met, fell in love, and took over Hell is cut and dry. We know Lucifer was an idealist and creative archangel who lived in heaven when the first of humanity came into being. Adam and Lilith were the first humans in the Garden of Eden, meant to serve as the predecessors of every human in history as husband and wife. Although the Elder of Heaven created the couple as equals, Adam demanded more control than he was due. While Lilith refused to submit to his will, Lilith had no choice but to flee Eden but would later be approached by Lucifer, who appreciated her independent spirit. The two dreamers soon fell in love and planned to share free will with all of humanity. Lucifer and Lilith approached Eve, the new bride created for Adam, and offered her an apple known as the Fruit of Knowledge. Eve accepts their gift, but their actions have grave consequences. The lone act of disobedience allowed evil forces to enter Earth, and a new realm for darkness and sin formed to accommodate them. As punishment, Heaven forced Lucifer and Lilith to reside in the New Kingdom, now known as Hell, where they could never learn the good that came from giving humanity the freedom to make their own choices. Lucifer found her, and the two rebellious dreamers fell deeply in love. The series never mentions Eve again. Adam credits himself as the creator of all humanity, meaning he and Eve must have stayed together after she received the apple to have a family. However, there's no mention of their children throughout the series either. The stories about their sons, Cain and Abel, would be perfect for a Hasbin Hotel adaptation. Cain is known for killing Abel out of jealousy because God favored his brother. It would make sense for Cain to be one of the first human souls to enter hell, but the series doesn't mention him. Additionally, if Lucifer and Lilith's acts of disobedience condemn them to a terrible afterlife, it stands to reason that Eve could have also ended up in hell after her death. Meanwhile, Adam manages to ascend to heaven, where he receives praise for being the first human soul to reside there. The Seraphim, Sarah, mentions such an welcome to heaven, meaning Adam died before Eve or his wife wasn't permitted into heaven because she took the apple. Unfortunately, we may not know what became of Eve until later seasons, as it's even possible she was killed within her afterlife, making her soul vanish from existence entirely. We do know what became of the other four souls who helped kickstart free will on Earth, and their origins mentioned previously in this video make them the perfect candidates for another Hasbin Hotel spin-off. We only see their modern lives after they've spent 10,000 years in their respective realms, weighed down by their long existences and responsibilities. A spin-off could explore the events in Overture in more detail while showing what brought each character to their current roles during Hasbin Hotel's first season. They wish to share the magic of free will with humanity, offering the fruit of knowledge to Adam's new bride, Eve. We learn from Charlie that her father was once a happy and creative spirit with many positive ideas to try and help humanity grow. However, his ideas threatened the careful structure of heaven, so the elder angels, possibly Sarah included, viewed his involvement with Earth as a potential threat. In the spin-off, we can meet a wide-eyed inventor as Lucifer comes up with compelling ideas to help humanity. However, he may face constant challenges along the way, prevented from sharing his ideas with the elder angels by Sarah or the other archangels. Once Lucifer realizes heaven designs humans to follow a rigid structure, similar to preordained destiny, he could begin working on a method of free will to give them, believing they'll have more fulfilling lives if they could take their destinies into their own hands. In the meantime, heaven succeeds in making the perfect earth, with the Garden of Eden serving as a secondary utopia outside of heaven. Adam and his first wife Lilith would become the first specimens of humanity for the angels to watch over. Unfortunately, their plans would go awry when Adam demands more control over Lilith. The spin-off could pivot after Lucifer hears 
ideas about the trouble brewing in the garden, promoting him to spend some of his free time viewing the relationship drama between humanity's first couple. A few episodes could become dedicated to Adam and Lilith as they bond in the garden, learning about life and their roles. While Adam may seem agreeable at first, we know from his appearances in Overture and Welcome to Heaven that he thinks highly of himself, disregards the feelings of others, and doesn't mind acts of violence. If these traits presented themselves early on in the garden, then it makes complete sense for Lilith to resist his control and eventually strike out on her own. I never would have agreed to your yearly activities if I thought it would bring trouble to our doorstep. Once Lucifer realizes that Lilith's independent nature embodies free will, he could become inspired to help humanity again, with or without the Elder's approval. Sneaking out of heaven, he could approach Lilith, where they could bond over their shared motivations to change things. However, they'd be beaten to the punch when heaven creates a second wife for Adam, Eve. Unfortunately, we know very little about Eve's character, as she's only mentioned by name a few times throughout the main series. She may be more docile and compliant compared to Lilith, as if heaven tries to avoid the same thing from happening again when creating her. Whatever her personality, we know she's eventually tempted by Lilith and Lucifer to eat an apple, allowing evil to enter the world and providing humanity with free will forever. We don't know what becomes of Eve after these events, but since Adam notoriously states that all of humanity comes from him, it's safe to assume she lives out the remainder of her life on Earth, acting as the mother of Adam's children. The spin-off could go into more detail about this while also explaining why she and Adam appear separated in Hasbin Hotel and where she resides in the afterlife. While Eve's fate is up in the air, we know Adam's soul ascends to heaven after his death and that he eventually receives a personal military force to help him exterminate sinner's souls. Given his awful personality, the spin-off can explore how he rose to have so much power in the first place. Thanks to Lucifer and Lilith becoming the rulers of hell, getting married and giving birth to the main character of Hasbin Hotel, we know the most about them after they're sent to hell by the other angels. We know they become the leaders of Hell's Seven Rings, and the spin-off could follow their journey as rulers as Lilith demands more respect and Lucifer becomes more withdrawn, leading to the start of the main series, when Charlie becomes the only thing left of their legacy. Oh, look how much you have grown! Still fun-sized! You taking care of my little girl? A spin-off of the beginning could open the doors for exploring never-before-seen components of the Hasbin Hotel universe. It's exciting enough to imagine an angelic Lucifer filled with ideas for humanity, a curious and controlling Adam as the first of humanity, and a fiercely independent Lilith who fights for everyone's free will. However, a series about these three crucial characters with the addition of Eve could help shed some light on the questionable decisions they make during the first season of the main series. It can also expand on the individual realms of heaven, hell, and earth, showing how each developed throughout numerous episodes, creating new challenges for every character to face along the way. Doing something important, I'm sure, but this kingdom was something she really cared about. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Don't worry, Mom. I'll make you proud.